This video shows the best way to edit a PDF created by someone else. So this happens all the time we find, uh, especially if you start with a new business or you start a new job or somebody's sharing files with you, that you have the PDF version of a file, the most recent version of the file, which is important, but you don't have the original Word document or whatever processing program you were using to create that document. And so sometimes you might not know what font was used or, you know, you're trying to change spacing or, you know, you're trying to add some information in and there isn't really enough room to do that in the PDF. It's, it can be really hard, even if you think you know what font you're using. So like I'm in Acrobat Pro, which would let me edit this document. So if I were to click on tools, and this is a little bit older version of Acrobat, so yours will look different, but the same principles apply. If I were to edit the text document, it's going to load some fonts and I could edit the document here. I can click on different things and edit and it's going to let me edit with no problem. But if I were to want to add big sections and I'm trying to add or edit text, it's going to bring this up. So I'm going to move this out of the way and then I'm going to start a text box. I'm going to say number three and you can see it doesn't really match, right? So I could try to change this. to something else that I think maybe matches and it really doesn't. I could pick something else and it's hard to know exactly what's going to look like what has already been used. So I'm going to pick Cambria. Does it match? No, that's actually worse. You could waste a bunch of time doing this and it's really kind of silly to do that because let's see, adding new information but the document doesn't look right. So this is the biggest thing you're going to find. And of course I'm adding in like weird little spots here. But what I'm just trying to show you is the different fonts and how it can be hard to one, line everything up in the right place. These are not really lined up right. The fonts don't match. And so it's really hard to just add something in. Even if I start clicking in to edit this information, if I were up here and I did edit document, or edit text document up here and I clicked, sometimes if you're adding in stuff, you're going to run out of room before the next page. Or if you only have a small little amount you're trying to add, it's really hard to try to get this all in the same place. So instead, I'm going to undo what I just did. Okay, so now that I'm back where I started, I'm going to instead, I'm going to do a save as, and I'm going to do Microsoft Word and Word document. And I'm going to save this on my desktop. And as you can see, we did a little run through of preparing the document. And then I'm going to open that document. And now I'm basically in Word format. So I can go over here and click here and I can start again. So I'm going to hit enter a couple times here. Oh, let me move the margins back. Okay. So there we go, margins. And then I'm going to say number and I may have to say continue numbering. Um, and if it doesn't catch it, I've noticed this before, you can also just set the numbering value and say two, three for me. It's going to be a three. And actually, I'm not sure if that lines up 100%. So let's see here. There we go. And then I can create my new list item. And you see my font matches. And I'm continuing my list. Adding items, everything looks the same and you can see I can go on and on and the beauty of this is now everything matches so I probably would get rid of this space here um, but this uh, it once I save this as a PDF it's never gonna look like it was manipulated it's gonna look exactly like the same one so you have that continuity of the content so the beauty of that is it looks like your original document you didn't have to recreate the entire thing which could be super time-consuming depending upon how how long the document was to begin with this is a shorter document it's like 10 pages but if this were like imagine if this were 100 pages no one's gonna retype that that takes way too much time so instead of doing that the thing is is save that PDF as a word document open it and then it'll automatically pull in all that formatting sometimes it might tell you it doesn't recognize a font because you don't it used a font that you don't have locally installed on your computer in which case I would just pick something that you do have and apply it to everything that way it still has that continuity and the document still looks like it is the same document that it was created at the same time it maintains the integrity of the original document and still looks professional so that is the best way to edit a document that you only have in pdf form that someone else created